Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video, which is going to be, I guess you could say, like a Tiny Tin Challenge of sorts, or just mostly coloring. I'm playing around with the W.H. Smith coloring pencils. Um, I was recently sent these in not the Happy Meal video seen earlier today, but the last one. Um, these were sent by Jackie, a colorist, and I do have these in a pencil case, so they're not in here. Um, I really wanted to try them out, so I'm going to be coloring a page with them on Mag in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. I don't know if I'll finish it up on camera or not, if I'll just do kind of like a one-off kind of coloring chat, but I wanted to try test these out, and I did swatch them out kind of fast. So here is the colors. They don't have any color names or anything like that, so I just kind of swatched them as they were in here. Or as I put them in my case where I thought they were pretty much in a color range. So I figured we'll go ahead today and play with them and color with them. So I have them right here. So here is the color range on pencils. And there's the lack of weight. Make sure I have this fully zipped up. Yeah, okay. I want to make sure the other side was fully zipped. So I didn't accidentally grab one of my other pencils. So this is just the WH uh, Smiths on display. So I set this over here. And I did pick a page. And I was going to do this one, but I did want to switch it up to the other one that I had in mind. Which is... There we go. A little heart page here. I figured this would be a good one to get in there. So we put this behind. And let's see. I'm going to start off with doing a red color here. So let me grab the reds, which let me see really quickly. Are this one... There's like, this one's a really deep red, so I'm going to go with um, this orangey color here, which is this one. And then I'm going to take this third brown, which here is kind of like a mahogany. And we're going to try a three color blend with these colors right here. And this is the pencils. This had a name down there. So let me go ahead and zoom you in. And this is just going to be like a color and chat, not really like a review or anything like that. So I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm going to start with dark and go to light. It is... Ooh. Sorry, I'm just like losing my voice right now. I don't know why I'm like losing my voice today. But it is currently Saturday night. I just did film a Happy Meal video and a coloring book haul. Um, you'll see that probably earlier in the day, and then you'll see this video. Um, it has been a relaxing weekend. I'm kind of like holding my breath that the lights don't go out because yesterday I was coloring in bed before I went to go to sleep, and the lights, there's like a blackout in my area. And yeah, I was without power here for about two hours last night. So that was not fun. And I should have just been sleeping, but the back of my head just kind of started, like there was a voice like, well, what if something's wrong? Like, what is, it's like a big thing. Like, what if it was like, they go back at darkest? What if it was like a like an accident or like what if it was something that's bigger or like that, you know, type of thing that you had to be like awake and aware for, you know. So I was just kind of coloring in bed with a flashlight. So far these pencils work really, really nicely. They feel like the um Faber Castell classics right now. Yeah, Friday was a kind of relaxing day. I got up and had to wait for my dad to, I had to get up so we can go to the store. We didn't have to go very far. 
we thought he was gonna have to work, but there was like rain moving in, so and, um it got canceled. So he was here, so we just kind of had um uh, went back to the store um after we went to the store. And we just had fried chicken that night we picked it up from the, the grocery store. And um since we didn't really want to go to Walmart and deal with like the major traffic of anything because it is currently bike week in Myrtle Beach. We're not in Myrtle Beach anymore, thank God, because it is not very fun when that happens because there's a lot of traffic and a lot of um, drunk people on the road. So that looks really, really nicely there. You can kind of see a nice kind of soft blend to it. So I'm going to do the rest of these ribbons here. Um, so yeah, we didn't really want to go to like the main roads or anything like that. So we figured we'd just stick to Food Lion and the Dollar General this week. And we didn't really need anything really from the store of the week because we just did that huge stocking up one last week. We had the free week of um, like no bills, like little bills, you know, here and there. So we only had to pick up some soda, some snack foods. <clears throat> and like stuff like that. So it really was not like a eventful shopping on Friday. We came home. Did I color? Yeah, I colored a little bit Friday. I worked um in one of my Happy Meal books, which is Horror Hotel um, Witch Hunt, which you'll see earlier today if you watched it. Um, and I worked in a color by number book um, that I got at the Dollar General. And that's pretty much all I did. Friday was working in that color by number book. And I put a marker base down in the horror hotel. And I have to go in with pencils next. With the horror hotel one, but I'll probably do that on Monday. The only reason I'm actually coloring now is because I wanted to chat with you and do this little kind of like video here. So I really like how that is turning out. So I'm going to go ahead and move to this and then I'll keep these. What I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them in. I usually put them in like this way where it's like the point side up. I'm going to put them this way so I know the colors that I'm using. Oops, that goes there. And let's see. And one of the reasons why I didn't pick um, a person because there is kind of this would be like the lightest brown for a skin uh, skin tone. I'd say in this set go with the brown colors. So you're gonna do like a uh, person because the peachy skin tone for uh, lighter skins are very like lighter skin people are very very orangey and like peachy. It looks more like a peachy peachy tone and then a full on like um like me like a light skin flesh tone. Let's just grab this light green, then grab this green and this green. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen these up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing where I work from a dark to light. So this is the darkest green, it's kind of like an olive green. So today was Saturday, and we went to the library. I had to return one book where I didn't have to return it. I just wasn't interested in reading it anymore, which was Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. I just, I don't know what it was. I just was not interested anymore. So I returned that one, and then I did grab some more. Of course, you know, I had to grab some more. I... I always, for some reason, whenever I go to the library, I can't, like, leave there without at least browsing the books. So, but I'm going to film a coloring, or not coloring, a reading update next weekend. 
So I'll talk about the books I have out and the books I'm going to be reading or am reading. It is on the weekend now, so this will be going up on Sunday, so I will be spending my day tomorrow reading and not coloring. I'm trying to get myself to be in a position where on the weekends I read. This is the second uh, color now. So I'm trying to get myself in that position where on the weekends I read and um, not color. And color during, oops, color during the week. If I'm in the mood to color, unless um, I'm not in a, mood, a reading mood, and then I'll just go ahead, you know, and um, color if I want to, you know. But I'm currently reading the sequel to Hocus Pocus, which I think is called Witch Please. Um, I, I did, I, I'll really fl I'll fully admit that I did skip over... Um, the first one because it was literally a carbon copy of the first movie. It was like the author. Um, I, it's in the book, but I have the book on my bed right now. If I can't reach it, um, it's like the author pretty much watched the movie, wrote down every single thing that happened, scene for scene, word for word, and then just transcribed it into a novel. And the reason I say that is because the second book is in first person where the first book is in third person meaning that it, was, it would have been easier for them to do what i said which was to kind of watch the movie take everything with the word for word type of thing and write it that way not a bad thing but i fear i'm just gonna go ahead and skip it because the magic of Hocus Pocus really was not there. I didn't sharpen this one, if you're wondering why it's smaller. But the magic of Hocus Pocus just was not there. Like, the charm of the Sanderson sisters just was not there. So, fair, I'm just going to go ahead and read the second one. So far, it's okay. I honestly don't think I'm going to finish it. I may just go ahead and DNF it or just kind of skim read it because, yeah, just, it's basically the first movie just in modern age where, where someone didn't get turned into a cat, someone got turned into a dog, someone brought the Sanderson sisters back on Halloween. And it's just like, really? You know, it's kind of the same thing. You had a chance to do something different with the sequel. And you didn't. So I'll still try reading. Because it's a fast read. I think I read like 80, 90 pages this one today. So it's a fast read. And it does have chance a chance to get better. So I just had to try to look really quickly, make sure I did get all the areas. There. So there's the greens. I'm just going to go ahead and put these upside down. And let's do the flower. Let's do that in yellows. So I'm going to pull the yellow and then I'm going to take the lightest orange tone. And work this way. See, I did that. I was reading today and I watched some movies on Netflix while I was reading. Because I pretty much was just watching horror movies I've seen already. So I didn't have to like focus on them really. You know, so it's like, I'm just going to do that and read. I watched... Jason X, which I regret watching that movie because I forgot how horrible that movie was. I don't understand the mindset of, let's take a classic horror movie and put it in space. They did it with Leprechaun. It was horrible. They did it with Jason now. It was horrible. Well, they did it like how many years ago. But um, the only horror movie that works in space is Alien. And even they did that one to death. No pun intended, you know. But 
I watched that one, and then I started to watch the 2003 version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That is actually one of my all-time favorite versions of that movie. Except for Texas Chainsaw 3, 3D. It's the third one because it's a direct sequel of the second movie. But it's technically it's Texas Chainsaw 3D. It's not really the third one. It's technically the third one, but it's three, uh, the title is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. That one is really, really good. And the ending, I don't want to even talk about it, but the ending of that one is so good and so hilarious. And s honestly, they don't need to make any more of that, but they are. <laughs> it's like, they don't need to make any more, but Hollywood's making another movie and a TV show. There's the yellows. I'm just going to put these back and we're going to use that peachy color. Yeah, so it's like the skin tone, light skin tone, this one, for just a very straight color, this. So I will probably film at this and upload the videos, get ready for bed, and then probably read some more. I'm going to check some comments. Um, I think I replied to comments yesterday. I can't remember, so I'm going to check make sure if I didn't, I can go reply to them. And then uh, reply to any new ones that came in. There's the peachy color, I'm going to take, um, I think I'm going to take this, the darkest orange that we used. No, that was the wrong orange this orange. The darkest orange just to kind of do this little center area here. Just straight color and then do these little dots as well. So what I'm trying to do is use all of the colors that I can to test these out. So far I'm really loving these pencils though. I have to fully say that I think I have a drink. Because you can see just how really well they, uh, they work on camera and the color. Like, the, there's literally barely any white spots, if any white spots, on the paper. And you get white spots in your prismas on this paper. So, like, I can show you, like, you can still see white spots in the skin a little bit. Let's see if I want to go back over here. And spots, like, in the color where I didn't fully like jam it down on there. You know, like, there's the skin. You can kind of still see some white spots, but it's going in there pretty good. So I'm going to use blue next. I'm going to do the little gem part. So I think we will use... Okay, I'm going to have to set this back down. Just turn the camera. Pusheen's going to have to hold it down. Got to use... The, I'm going to use... I don't have to. going to use this blue... Then we're going to use this one, and then this one. So I find when you're using like new kind of pencils, like all that are wax based, to start with your darkest colors first and put stuff down, because some pencils, if once you put a soft layer of the lace color down, it kind of fills the the tooth of the paper up. And it's kind of hard to put down. So like with this, you can kind of judge just how much pigment actually is going down on the paper. Okay, let's go to the second color now. And I'm still working with very light pressure as I'm doing this. See, so it's been an uneventful weekend, but those are always the best weekends because they're just means it's real. It just means it's a relaxing weekend, 
And tomorrow is, or today for you all, is Mother's Day. So I hope everyone's having a good Mother's Day and happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. Um, I hope everyone has a good one. I know tomorrow will be a relaxing one. I think we're going to watch The Amazing Race. Um, if my dad has to go to work, me and my mom will watch I Zombie that we missed on Thursday. Really don't do much for Mother's Day or Father's Day. I went through after I did my coloring book video and did um, give some of the books that weren't really interesting me anymore to my mom. So I kind of gave them as like a gift as well as I got the Alice in Wonderland book for her from Fabian Atanasio as like a Mother's Day gift for her. So she got her gifts early. Because we usually, if we have a gift for someone, we don't really ever be like, you have to wait to such and such date. It's like, we have this for you, here, here it is, you know, type of thing. So we usually don't really wait until the, like, specific day, unless it's like a surprise gift. But usually we don't really do surprise gifts. We're just like, here's this gift we got for you. Take it, you know, type of thing. There, I'm going to use the lightest color now. So yeah, I hope everyone, all the mothers out there have a good Mother's Day. And if you're not a mother, I hope you just have a good Sunday, a good relaxing Sunday. I think this might, after we're done with this gem, this might be it for the video. Because all the other stuff I want to use gel pens for. So I think that might be it. And I'll probably just go ahead and finish this off camera and show you when I am done with it. I'll probably finish up Monday or Tuesday. I'll continue using the same um, pencils that we used here today. I'll, still fin I'll finish this page up with the WH Smiths. But yeah, I really do like them. They are really good to color and are really good and fun to color with. They do feel very reminiscent of the um, Faber Castell Classics in terms of how they layer and how they color. It would be interesting to see how they work on top of marker all our kind of stuff but i really wasn't in the mood to pull out markers and do like that kind of testing right now just wanted to sit down color and chat with you see how we how i've been and talk about the weekend how you've been all that kind of fun stuff there I think that looks really nice and good. It looks darker on camera. It's actually a little bit lighter of a color. It's more like, okay, you can't really see that, but it's a lighter color. So let's see, I think that's the only, yeah, that's the only gem. So I don't have to put these ones upside down. So that is it, will be it for today. Let me zoom out so you can kind of see the full picture. I'm gonna go ahead and off camera, I'll show you when it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these flowers and the ribbons the same as I did over here. They'll be the same colors and then all of this, the, um, this here, as well as the background here is going to be in gel pen. I think what I'm going to do is do a gold gel pen for the edge here um, and do the rest of the, the, the background here, the other heart. I'm going to do it in black and then um, do like Posca dots for the white, uh, the little, like little bubbles, I, I like do drop, I guess you'd say, or maybe bubbles. And then I'll do this probably in um, shades of blue. Um, color it.
So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So this will be blue with blue gel pens, different shades um, around the um, gem, a gold trim, a black background, and these same colors for the rest of the flowers. I figured I'd let you all know that that way you can wanna color this page along or you wanna color in similar colors. And I'll probably come in, I'll do it right here to show you. Take Posca paint, paint pen, okay. And just kind of go over these lines. It'll probably turn blue because it does that on top of wax. I have noticed that when I was coloring my polys, I did this on top and it didn't change color. So it's the wax that changes the color of your Posca or your white gel pens. Where the oil-based pencils don't. And do like this. And I'll do the outside rim as well, but I'll point to gel pens are on there because the gel pens will just cover the uh, white up. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this kind of short, um, just kind of testing these pencils out. I'm definitely going to be using them a lot more. And I have them in the back of my Polychromos containers, I have my, or my Polychromos pencil case. So I will definitely be using them a lot because I have my Polychromos have actually not been back on my shelf until this weekend. I put them back on there because I was going to take the weekend off from coloring. Um, and they, that was the first time they've actually been on the shelf. Um, they have not left the shelf. So these will definitely get used because I'll have my polychromos there all the time. So yeah, that is it for today. Um, I really enjoyed them. This one, once again, if you're interested, is the swatches. Um, I believe these are available in, they're only available in the UK. Um, I think, I'm not sure if WH Smith is the, is a name of the shop that they're available in or the, or the brand name. Um, I think, um, I think Jackie had said that they're from the works. I'm not sure. I forget. But I think that's from the works where they're from the UK. I'm not sure if you're from the UK. It's less. I'll have to know in the comments um, where to get them. But yeah, I do like them. They're really fun to color with. They're very reminiscent, like I said, of the um, Faber Castell classics, which are these ones here. That's so how you reach them all. There we go. Which are these ones. The. Oop. The kind of classics here, the only difference is these ones have like little numbers on the ends, but the ones have the WH Smith. Um, but they're very reminiscent in the kind of way they color and layer down with that. That's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, hope you all have an amazing day and happy coloring.